Mike, is the Fed making a mistake? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think the uh, Fed has signaled now for many, many months that it's the fundamentals that it's looking at. The fundamentals are good. We have extreme fiscal uh, stimulus, and we have to get the Fed has to get monetary policy to neutral, and it's going to pursue that uh, despite what the president says. And uh, I think they're doing the right thing, and I think they signaled an, another two increases uh, in uh, 2019, which would get us very close to at least what I believe is a neutral rate. No one knows for sure. But it's, uh, I think it's between 3 and 3.5%, 3 .5%, and we'd be at 275 uh, next June if they do two more increases. And they, then they probably want to take a break for six months and see how things go. But I think they're, they're doing absolutely the right thing. Well, I don't know if investors agree with you. I mean, the stock market fell pretty hard into the Fed decision and then pretty hard out of it. What does that tell you? Well, I, I think my own opinion is that uh, they didn't react to the Fed. They reacted to the president's uh, 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 report about the Fed and the firing of the, federal, uh, uh, of the head of the Federal Reserve and so forth. And, and the independence of the Fed was uh, our concern. And so uh, I think that's what's, what really happened. I believe that if the Fed would not have increased interest rates in December, the market would be down further today than it is, because uh, it, would, it would be a signal that monetary policy is being determined by this president. And I can't think of a, a greater risk uh, to our economy than if that was the case. Although, Dick, from this point on, now that the Fed has already done one hike after the president's criticism, don't you think that uh, it's pretty much free to, to, to take whatever course uh, it needs? I guess the question is, if it remains a standoff between market perceptions and what the Fed thinks it ought to be doing next year, where is the give in that, uh, in that conflict? Well, I think this is a, a, a Trump slump. Uh, I think it's the other things that are occurring and, and the actions that he has taken that is causing this problem. Uh, rather than the, the Fed. Uh, the partial shutdown and, and his, uh, he said he's glad uh, to be responsible for that shutdown. That, that's concerning the market. Obviously, all the trade issues that are going on are a great concern of the market. Our cabinet officials and advisors are, are leaving left and right because of disagreements on policy. Um, again, the threats to, the, to, the, to replace the Fed chairman all of those things, I think, are the main reason we're seeing the market. And, and just the threat of, 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 of uh, replacing the Fed chairman, what else is he going to do? <laughs> and, and so I think there's just so much uncertainty about all these things that, uh, you know, the market reacted. Now, I believe it's overdone. Uh, I think we're, it's oversold. I think when the, when the uh, fundamentals come out, uh, which are already coming out, we have one of the, the best uh, Christmases we've, we've had in years. Um, uh, retail is booming. And when I think the, the, the uh, statistics come out the first of the year and then earnings come after that, uh, I think there's going to be, uh, I think the, the market's going to come back. So uh, does that mean that you expect or would hope for a reversal of the errors, I guess you're saying, uh, that, that come out of the White House? Or can, those, can that sort of drama continue, but along with uh, more, more high-frequency fundamental data, like corporate earnings? Yeah, I think that it is possible that the fundamentals outweigh some of these things. But, but we just got to stop. Every, I mean, just when we get something, you know, let's just take, uh, again, the, the uh, international trade dispute. I think it kind of settled into the market. And then all of a sudden, we shut down the part of the government. I mean, it just never stops. It's chaos, chaos, chaos. And then, you know, the, the Mattis thing. I mean, if, if it would just be no more, I think would be a big positive. And I think then the fundamentals could overweigh it. But why would you expect there isn't going to be more? Because every week, every day, he comes out with something. So that's the I, guess, okay. I think you'll learn from that. I yeah. really think you'll learn from that, though, perhaps. He's already softening his Fed uh, statements. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Maybe it's not a wall to fence. I mean, you know, uh, he knows that if, he, if this market doesn't yeah. improve, that's not good for him.